Okay guys, so we are going to be working on a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas. Um, and the colors, I'm using eight colors tonight. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to go over those real quickly and then um, we'll get cleaning up the area, remove some of the paint and then get layering the cup. So the first color we're going to start with is DecoArt's 24K Gold Extreme Sheen. I like this one uh, better than the 8 ounce jar. I find it to be shinier. And my paints create a mound on a mound and then slowly disappear. I've mixed that uh, one to one ratio with Floetrol. All my paints are mixed with Floetrol, so we'll just discuss that at the moment. So, all right, so with this one, this is PBO's Iridescent Blue Black. It's a gorgeous color. And I added a little bit of Payne's Gray, Fluid Payne's Gray in there to deepen it up a bit. I don't have, I used up the rest of it. So the tube that I had it in, I threw it out. The next color we're gonna go over is Arteza's Pearl Copper Gold. It's this beautiful, warm copper metallic color, but it's light also. And that is this one. Next up, we're gonna look at some Smalt Hue by Golden. And I added a little bit of metallic sapphire to that by Art Minds. I had a bunch of it. So I just added a little to the color. It's very close to the actual color, which I'll open and I'll show you. Actually, it's really dark, but um, that also is mixed with Floetrol. I have Golden's Neutral Gray, and I'm not gonna use a whole lot of this because I don't want it to <clears throat> fog up or gray, I guess, gray up the painting too much. These are all seven ounce cups, and I put about six ounces of Floetrol in them and a scoop and a half of Golden's paint. The next color we're gonna go over is Anthroquinone Blue by Golden's. So it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And that is the Anthroquinone. The next is Golden's uh, Nickel Azo Gold. And that's a beautiful rust-like color. And I really think it's going to bring the painting to another level next to gold or the white and whatnot. <clears throat> and then finally, I have my Artist Loft Flow White. And I mix that two to one with Floetrol. And then added a couple of scoops of the Satin Enamels by DecoArt. So this is the Satin Enamel that I talk about in my videos. I know some people have asked what satin enamel it is. This is what I get. All right, so my colors are mixed up. I'm going to grab a cup and uh, get this show on the road. I'm using a 18 ounce cup. It's a solo cup. I like these because they're very sturdy and I can reuse them after the fact and I am actually going to do a little bit of white down at the bottom and then a little bit of the gold. So with the exception of the gold and PBO's iridescent blue black, uh, these other colors, aside from the white, um, that's about six ounces of Floetrol and about a scoop and a half of the heavy body paint. So, um, the PBO and, uh, the PBO is about six ounces to about an, uh, ounce of an ounce and a half of the paint. And, um, yeah, I don't want to put gray there actually. So we're going to stop that process right now. We're going to add some of the pearl copper gold and come in with the anthroquinone blue. And what am I gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. 
This is the Smalt Hue. And now I'm gonna come in with the gray on top of that gold. And then the blue black iridescence by PBO. I have no idea how this is gonna come out, so fingers crossed the eight colors will <clears throat> merge beautifully. Do that. Come in with the copper. I'm gonna come in with just a little bit of the gold with the nickel azo, because I love the effect it gives. Um, nope, I'm gonna do the small Q next to this bit. Bring in some contrast and use the anthraconone blue. And that was the neutral gray I just put in there. And do the sapphire actually with the small hue. Gonna be tough. There we go. I'm going to come in for some contrast. Come in with the gray. And then I'll top it off with some gold. All right, that's my cup. We're gonna put it to the side here. Move all these out of the way because them sitting there may create <clears throat> a problem. And we're gonna put a little bit of my white mix. Somebody asked if this is the same thickness or consistency of the rest of my paints, and yes it is. It doesn't have to be. I just don't want to water it down to thin it out because I have leftover, so I might want to use it in another painting. And we are going to pour. Here we go.
now. We're gonna come in and we're gonna do white on the sides and we'll be right back. Okay, we've got all the sides covered with the leftover white paint that I had and I'm gonna start moving this around. I think I'm gonna come up and over to here and then back to the center. I'm just not sure yet. I'm gonna come all the way down over here now. I'm just watching where the paint moves and that's where I decide where the composition is and how to manipulate the outcome. Now I do feel like there might be a little too much gold in the center but we'll see. I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. And I'm gonna come back. Let me keep it that way. It's really cool. I'm going to come all the way down here. Come right off the edge. I'm going to come over there. And go right off the edge. And I'm going to help stretch it out. Sorry, guys. And right off this edge. It's moving a bit fast here. We're gonna come off over there. And then back my way. I want to bring it off over here a little more to open it up so let's see what we can do so I'm bringing it back over here So one thing I've learned is you should always have some paint mixed up and I'm not 100% certain I like this one. So I'm going to do less layers and less gold. And I'm going to pull right in the middle. We'll see how it goes. I'm just not 100% certain I like the outcome.
kind of like it. Sort of like a rose in the middle. See if we can get any more out of this cup. And I'm going real slow as I don't want to muddy paints up. I think that's where we're going to stop. Give it a torch. Was well, gonna be a galaxy pour, but now it's not. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring it over to here. take it off that edge. I'm not crazy about that edge and I want oh yes we're gonna keep this because I really love this piece I would stretch this out, but I sort of like how the gold is right there, but this corner here is gorgeous, and I sort of want to bring it down a little, right up there. Yeah, we're going to stop right here. I got to bring you guys in for some of this color because this is really, really cool. All right, so uh, give me a few and I'll bring you in. Okay, check out that beautiful green and gold area. It's so sparkly. I'm like super soaked. Okay, you guys ready? This is my favorite. It is so sparkly. 
and I think it's going to, it's just really cool. And there's the uh, metallic sapphire blue, and I added that to the small hue. And this is gonna dry amazing. I have the um, nickel azo in here, and that is gonna look really cool with the copper. This piece has so much to look at, and I love it. I love the white in here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna name it, and I'm really looking forward to it drying. It is just so cool. Hey, what are you gonna do? I'm not sure how I like it either. I don't know if I like it this way. I I don't think we're gonna have an answer for that at all until it's dry and then really take a look at the final piece. But I love this area here. And this. I don't know. There's a lot to look at at this piece. Um, definitely not as much gold as there was originally. A lot of this is the copper, the pearl copper gold, and um, what else? With the gold. So um, it's sort of just, I don't know. It's not as gold gold as it looks on camera. So I'm not sure if you guys are getting the right effect, but when it's dry, we will definitely show it in an upcoming video. So I am all done for tonight. I made a mess of the kitchen. And uh, yeah, that's all. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, and uh, this little drippy noise from our sink is annoying me. I'm sure it's driven you guys crazy. So I probably put music over this, but I'm not sure. All right. Have a wonderful night, guys. Bye.